two backs, they give it to Colin Gillespie, who has spent most of his career as the 12th man on special teams. But with Jimbo Fisher here now, they need a fullback, and Gillespie has filled that role quite well. Travion Williams is yet to carry it after his 240-yard night, and they pulled it away from Williams and Kellen Mons across the 45, and a first down for AM. We just. Show the jet sweep. Why? Mond has a wide open Gillespie, and he makes another big play out of the backfield, and he's in Clemson territory. Close. Mond pulls it down, fires complete, and for the second time, the Aggies have converted on third down. The receiver he finds is Cameron Buckley, a sophomore from Cedar Hill, Texas. Most Albert Huggins, who's a Veteran players in there, third and five. Mond getting heat, throws it into traffic, and Clemson had two guys around Trevor Wood. Kendall Joseph was there, Tanner Muse as well. 14 for 13 last year. This will be a 26-yard attempt to get the Aggies on the board first. And it is no good. Dabo fired up. They gave up ground. This crowd. Pressure, down he goes! Making the sack is Justin Matabuke. See if they can try to wear down the Clemson defense. And second and eight, good protection for Mod. Now he finds his man, that's Kendrick Rogers. He's a guy that AM says has all the ability in the world. And Heat coming from Clemson. Mon has an answer underneath. It's one of the tight ends. It's Kirk Sand. It's Jay Sternberger who gets back down close to the red zone on another Aggie first down. Uh -huh. That was an answer from Fisher. And Mon handled that beautifully, but he didn't necessarily handle the snap the same way. Well, same way. Cleveland Farrell in the backfield, and the Aggies suffer a loss on first down. No, fair. On third and 14. Here's Mon. Pressure. Got to get rid of it. There's nobody out there but a lineman as Williams had fallen down. Austin Bryant was the one that was right up in Kellen Mond's kitchen. And they learned how to do it. LeCamera is a terrific kicker. Didn't use his greatest technique last time. Missed from 26. Now from just outside of 40 on the way. And the Aggies are on the board. And him. Look at big Dalen Mack who's changed his number to 34 this year and they tried that play earlier and again it didn't work. Amari Rogers is knocked down very quickly to Sean Taper Smith. Right here Kyle Field. Bryant throws a dart and loses Amari Rogers. Rogers is on his way in the a &M territory. They'll track him down and push him out of bounds but the first huge explosive play of the night for Clemson courtesy of the sophomore from Knoxville and that's into a window and he found Rogers and now Clemson is threatening ETN is hit as soon as he got it making another play is Deshaun Caper Smith Ryan is high it was dangerously bouncing around he was trying to get it to T Higgins Bryant, ETN, got a blocker in front, a couple, slips a tackle, ETN inside the five, and he'll get the first down, and Clemson is knocking on the door. Kelly Bryant keeps it. He beats a locket to the corner, touchdown Clemson. Hudson's passing records in the state of Georgia as a high schooler in Cartersville, Georgia. Lawrence going up top, throwing in his first pass is complete, and it might be a touchdown to T. Higgins if he's got enough gas. Higgins trying to get to the corner. Is he going to make it? Touchdown, Tigers! Welcome to the big time, Trevor Lawrence. 64 yards. Mike Williams and Martavius Bryant, they've had some great ones. Now Kellen Mond is hit from behind and sacked, and it's Justin Foster, one of the young guns. Up to 11. He is a redshirt sophomore from Olympic, Kansas. He was a long jumper during his redshirt year for Clemson, a terrific long jumper in high school, and spent a little time with the track team there. As Travion Williams picks up a, about five, maybe six. Mines had an over, missed his last five. Now he's getting pressure. Bought a little time in the pocket. 
And did the catch made it was deflected and Trevor Wood came up with it. A much needed first down for the Yankees. Fine. And now he's found his favorite target, Jamon Osborne, a four-star recruit, high school teammate of mine at IMG Academy. Aggies caught a break on the third down on the deflected ball. Can they make a play here? Good protection for Mott. Throwing in the middle. He was looking for Wood. There are a lot of Tigers around, including Kayvon Wallace and Denzel Johnson again, and it'll be fourth down. This will be from 50 yards. His career long is 52. The camera's blocked. And Clemson scoops it up and we knocked out of bounds in Davo Sweeney special teams coming up with the play. And Kelly Bryant is back at quarterback for the Tigers. Lawrence had three series. Now they'll go back to the senior. Bryant keeps it. Kelly up to about the 47. Pick up a Brian, way too high for Renfro, and it'll be fourth down, but Kelly got hit late. Passer, number 15, defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Jeremiah Martin, the freshman out of San Bernardino, California, with the late hit on Brian. Yeah, I mean, it, the pressure was there. Boy, that, that, that's, a, that's a really close call. I, I don't Clemson, as they get the call. The swing out to Rodgers, and it almost was backwards, and it is picking it up as Kingsley Kiki. Kiki's going to run it back. I'm sure they're going to look at it again and see if it was a backwards pass, and most seem to believe that it went forward. The field is the pass was forward and incomplete. It's second down at the previous spot. Yeah, that's the forward pass. Yeah, there's no... I don't know why the shenanigans to let him run all the way down the whole field to get tired out. Should have just blown the whistle. Travis Etienne. Etienne still on his feet. Etienne inside the 20. And he couldn't get away from Donovan Wilson. The only thing that kept him from scoring and Clemson knocking on the door again for Kelly Bryant. Choice, lots of room, and he's right on the doorstep. So what are you going to do, Coach? Uh, think, about it, think about this. You're up 14 to three on the road. You deferred. You get the ball to start the second half. You got a chance to go up 21 to three, and then get the ball back. Power straight ahead. Instead, they fumble the snap, and the Aggies are going to get a break and a stop. I don't think that ball ever got up. I don't think Fasanelli ever got the ball up to Kelly Bryant. Still in the building stage, nothing to lose. Still they'll go quarterback draw, and that is not going to work with the kindergarten cop, Christian Wilkins. She'll be third down and about 16. Feaster makes a great play. That, yeah. call, that ball completely went by Lawrence, and if Feaster didn't have his eyes up, that ball would have gone by him. Draw, nothing. Feaster wrapped up a three and out. It's in Rashad Paul, the sophomore from Greenland, Texas, about 45 minutes up Highway 6 from here in College Station. Paul driven inside his 35. First guy misses. Paul looking for room. Tough return by Rashad Paul. Gets it up to about the 43-yard line. Tap. On first down, Mond to throw, wants to take a shot, throws, and he's got his man, it's Osmond. Williams, right at Clemson, he's going to be short of the first down, it'll bring up a third down and two. But it's not manageable when Clemson gets that kind of penetration. Kayvon Wallace coming up from the secondary. Kicker, but he's had a rough night tonight. He missed a short one, had a long one blocked. This one is right down the boulevard. And the Aggies draw to within one possession, a 14-6 game in the early state.
Second down and 10 for Kellen Mond and the Aggies. Pressure from Cleveland Farrell, and they dump it to Travion Williams, and he's got helpers in front. Williams into Clemson territory and inside the 45. Wow, what a call here by Jimbo Fisher. I want to know how Mond got that ball off. At any rate, he lost some yardage in his third down and 11. Mond buying a little time. Trey Lamar after him. Lamar gets the first down, and Kevin Mond gets down close to the 20-yard line. Osmond, we got tangled up, gave him a block, and now Mond appears to have cramped up as he was coming off the sideline. Well, this is sure to come in here throwing. And they do, but Cleveland Farrell gets it, and it was picked up out of the air by Justin Foster. Disastrous play for the Aggies. I just said fourth quarterback. Switch goes for the Tigers. Bryant gonna take a shot. He's got a man out there. It's T. Higgins, and they flip the field with a huge offensive play. Now Higgins has caught one from both quarterbacks. Well, he's but he picked up half a hundred. And the Tigers are at the 20. There goes Kelly Bryant inside the 15. Kelly Bryant, they bring him in and don't hesitate to get aggressive. Travis Etienne, Tyrell Dodson wrestles him down just inside the 10 yard line, but it'll be first and goal for Clemson. Rolling the door, it's a touchdown to Andre Overton, but there is a flag, particularly at that position. First, the Tiger defense made a play. Foster was there to grab it, and this is a laser and it is in a tight window as Overton makes the grab and Clemson stretches its lead to 15. A Kellen Mond after leaving for a play with cramps, one that turned out to be a disastrous play with Nick Starkle losing the ball and called it an interception, but Mond is back and Mond has a man wide open out there. Cameron Buckley and Buckley's on his way. One man to beat. Davon Wallace saves a touchdown, but the Aggies try to answer. Five for AM. And they have a mere six points. They have to finish this one. Kellen Mond into the end zone. Puts it in traffic. Touchdown, Texas A&M. It's Kendrick Rogers. Play by the Aggies. Kelly Bryant, who just led a drive for Clemson, is back. And now he'll try to answer. Hunter Renfro's behind everybody. And Renfro's got it. In a &M territory to 35. Going downfield to make a play. And a good throw by Kelly Bryant. Bryant keeps it. Kelly Bryant gets the first down at the 25. One more move, and he might have run for a while. A half roll to his left. Amari Rogers spins away from a tackler. Third and short coming up for the Tigers. I don't know how. Right now, Bryant's balling. You can run here. First down, Renfro squirting and getting inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Tigers. Of the call, little pick here against man-to-man. -man. Little shuffle pass, pushing toward the goal line. Not with that speed. They'll toss it to him. To the corner, into the end zone. Travis Etienne and Clemson answers the A&M touchdown. Thank you. Florida State. More pressing matters in the mind of Jimbo now. Mond gets drilled, but got it to Travion Williams. Williams gets by Simmons and gets it across the 30-yard line. They say he is going to be a superstar, and he's getting some important snaps here. But Travion Williams finds a crease in that Clemson defense, and it's a first down. Nice job by the right side of that offensive line. Had a good time on ESPN. And then the game will be in Jerry World. Fourth quarter starting. Kellen Mond getting away from pressure, trying to find Travion Williams out of the backfield. And he was covered by that freshman defensive lineman, Thomas. And flags came flying in at the end. Is Xavier, big freshman out of Florence, South Carolina. Pass interference, number three, defense, automatic. First down. And thus far. Wilkins right on mine and Williams is loose. Travion Williams inside the 30, but there is a flag back there about the spot 
The yeah. five got hit. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Number 42. Defense. Blitz coming. Gets away from Simmons momentarily. Mon throws it. Touchdown! Courtney Davis with his first career catch, and it's a huge one. Rinaldi, the entire crew, calling those. Kellen Mond trying to rally the Aggies. He's got Rodgers open. Rodgers, did he hold it? The pass was a little high, he did, and the Aggies pick up about 30 on first down. As we're in the last couple of weeks of camp in the first game, Rodgers really starting to emerge. Mond again. He's got Sternberger. Sternberger on his feet and dragged down inside the 30. Here's the tight end that they like to go to. Pressure's picked up. Davis with another catch. He's got a first down. Did Davis stay on his feet? Headed to the corner. The ball flew out. It looked like it went out of bounds instead of through the end zone, which would be a touchback in Clemson's football. I think it went out of bounds. Oh, let's see. Heck of a play once again by Davis. And he doesn't give up on a play. They're saying that it was a fumble through the end zone and a touchback of a minute to go, but they have to get a stop here, and Clemson would like to salt it away with the quarterback run. Kelly Bryant up across the 25 to the 26. They got to get to the 30 for the first down. Jimbo calls the timeout with 2.03 to go. Man, they got to stop him. The Clemson can run out the clock. Bryant not going to get the first down. Might see him go return here. You don't want to risk roughing the kicker or running into him, which would give him the first down. Fires a little rugby look. They don't want to let Paul have a shot. And they shank the thing. And AM is going to have great field position. To reset the chains on first downs, even in the middle of the field. So Mine has some things to work with. Looking for a 400 yard passing night. He needs to get his team 49 yards. And there's the first completion of the drive to Kendrick Rogers. Let's see. Gets rid of it just before Farrell throws to the outside for Rodgers. A lot of contact, and they're going to throw the flag on Mark Fields. And Clemson as well. The rush in the corners. Farrell almost gets by. And into the middle. Was it caught? Touchdown! Touchdown, Kendrick Rodgers! Now they're tearing the lid off the place, but you got to get the two. Let's look at this catch again. Ball's deflected. Does he keep his? Oh, yeah, that oh, ball yeah. did not touch the ground. Kendrick Rogers with the focus off the tip ball. It's Wallace again that's able to get his hands on that ball to knock it up in the air, but the ball never came close to touching the ground. Mine rolling. Farrell after him. There's a flag. Mine's got to throw it. Kayvon Wallace this time holds on to it, and there's going to be a hold called offense. Kelly's decline. Point is no good. Comes the onside kick. You know who's got it? Hunter Renfro. You'd think you'd kick it anywhere in the world, but anywhere close to number 13. Long and Clemson goes on the road and Beats Texas A&M by a deuce. Clemson's all about culture. There's a new culture in College Station with Jimbo Fisher. Feels very, very different. I got an idea. Let's watch this again when these two get together next year in Clemson. How about yeah, that? I'm in.